Well, there is more heavy fighting going on in Syria today. <laughs> violence is just endless for so many people there. Rebels taking over most of a major city in the north, tearing down a statue of President Bashar Assad's late father. Connor Powell joins us now live from our Mideast Bureau. So how important is the capture of this city, Colin? Well, Martha, Raqqa is a city of some 500,000, so it's a fairly sizable city. And if rebels are able to hold on to it, and it's not clear that they will be able to, it would be both a strategic victory and a real um, symbolic blow to the Assad regime. In the past 24 hours, rebels have not only torn down that statue of Assad's father, but they've also captured the governor of the province, Jalili Hassan, who is now the highest ranking Syrian to be held by the opposition. Though it's not clear the rebels can hold on to the city, already pro Assad forces are mounting a counterattack. And Martha, there are reports that uh, Syrian jets are pounding rebel and opposition forces in that area. So Connor, who do we who do we believe is in control of this city right now? It's so hard to tell in so many of these well, places. Exactly. It's not really clear, but there are reports that Al-Nusra Front, which is an Islamic jihadist group, was part of the rebels that took control of this city. Now, this group has been labeled a terrorist organization by the United States, so their involvement in capturing the city would certainly raise concerns among the United States and other Western countries. But right now, there is still a lot of fighting going on around this city and in, in this entire province, Martha. Connor, thank you very much. Boy, such a tough situation. Remarkable sight, isn't it? Yeah.